In Minnesota, we are used to tall corn stalks. But stormy weather has scientists thinking about growing much shorter corn. Bear Crop Science has invented a smaller corn hybrid that can potentially stand up to storms and strong winds. It grows about one third shorter than conventional corn. Our John Lauritsen spoke with experts about how it would hold up in Minnesota. And the question we get most often right now is how soon can I have access to that on my farm? In recent years, Minnesota has been pummeled by thunderstorms and high winds. No one knows this better than farmers. So instead of growing tall traditional corn stalks, shorter may soon be better. We feel like short stature corn is going to be one of those key technologies that's going to help growers uh, weather some of those extreme events better in the future. Bayer, the same company that makes aspirin, has a crop science division that's testing a new breed of corn. Conventional stocks grow to about 9 or 10 feet, but that makes them susceptible to being snapped off or even uprooted in high winds. This type of corn would grow to be about 6 feet high and it would be planted much closer together than conventional corn is. Which could also allow farmers to grow a larger crop. Bayer has used strong wind created by helicopters to put their new product to the test, and they say the results have been positive. It takes development for many, many years. They oftentimes start uh, this development, you know, eight, ten years prior to coming to market. Dave Nikolai of University of Minnesota Extension says Bayer is far from alone when it comes to testing short stature corn. He says questions still remain when it comes to harvestability, but in a state where weather is a constant factor, the seeds of science are being planted for a shorter alternative. I would expect that we'll have an opportunity here to be looking at it uh, in the not too distant future. In Rosemount, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. And Nikolai told John that not too distant future could mean shorter corn and maybe uh, one to three years.